So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new and cool CGI and VFX advertising animation with using Blender. And second one, guys, Xpire add-on. See guys, that's my really cool dynamic effect. Firstly, it's my banner rolling animation. And second one, guys, that's my box dynamic effect. Right? It's really good. Okay, so guys, now I show you how to create this type of effect. So stop and go to on file and I create new project new project check select all and press delete key so next one guys i u f spy add on this one guys don't worry it's free and drag and drop on f spy like this yeah and guys see that's my vanishing points guys change second one i like z this one z check that's my blue and red okay so guys now i create perspective view so guys go to on here and guys it's my height so press shift it's zooming and guys go to on here like this right okay so guys second one press holding shift key and create shape like this yeah so go to on here and this one yes good and that's my like a horizontal work horizontal and go to on here and next one yes good so guys lastly yeah it's good see guys that's my simple perspective view right and now guys go to on 3d grid and use x y grid check that's my flow and guys flow check apply on here yeah and little bit change flow setting little bit right see guys that's my simple perspective view and now save your project save go to a desktop and take any file name like a new file and guys go to a blender file and import and import aspired on file like this see guys that's my new file and import yeah so firstly go to on here camera and opacity 100% check and now guys i apply plane and plane size increase like a 10 all 10 yes and guys now guys select your plane and little bit up because that's my flow yeah yes good right and guys now next one i apply this time rough layout for this boxes and guys i like cube so up go to and back and i increase size like this so guys go to on here that's my line view and go to on edit mode so guys select your points and go to on here like a right side and increase height and height increase like this and bottom and go to down yes good right see guys that's my points and little bit down yes press zero right see guys that's my rough layout right and guys next one i take this time plane for banner so add mesh and plane check so guys increase scale size and rotate so rotation 90 and guys press 7 so attach on front view like this yeah and little bit back yes and press zero so guys go to an up and click on here yeah and guys change size so like this yeah right okay so guys now this time change render setting so guys click on here i like cycle render divide gpu check and SAM256 is good for me and go to on film and I create transparent effect so transparent check and I like guys viewport I like standard so now guys next one I apply light so use HDRI environment texture check so open guys apply light as a your background so this one is fit for my work so import yeah and guys select your this one that's my cube so hide and yeah all is good see guys that's a banner 
एंड लिटिल बिट डाउन लिटिल बिट ये लिटिल बिट मो या गुड ओके सो गाइज नेक्स्ट वन दिस टाइम आई अप्लाई सिलेंडर सो सिलेंडर चेक एंड आई चेंज सम सेटिंग सो गाइज वर्ड टेक्स पॉइंट इंक्रीज लाइक सिक्सटी फोर एंड रेडियस लाइक जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट ओके सो लिटिल बिट मो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन एंड गाइज हाइट इंक्रीज लाइक फाइव एंड रोटेशन चेंज सो रोटेशन वाय लाइक अ नाइंटी एंड प्लस वन सो गाइज गो टू वन हेयर अप्लाय ऑन टॉप या एंड लिटिल बिट चेंज साइज हाइट चेंज या यस एंड प्लस सेवन सो गाइज क्लिक ऑन हेयर एंड दैट्स माई बैनर ऑन मेड Yes, good. See guys, that's my shape. Press one, and guys, okay. So guys, you can, you will apply a line. So guys, click on here. So select both shape, and you can align. See guys, that's my align tool, and align check center, right? Select the cylinder and plane, and align check. Okay, so guys, now next one, I apply segments, subdivision surface. So guys, select your plane. and add it mode select face and right click subdivide it and number of cut like a 70 yeah so guys that's my segments right and click on here segment so guys press one so now guys select your this one bottom vertex this one select this one bottom vertex check so guys click on here and vertex group check and assign and guys like a rename like a pin enter that's it guys right okay so now next one guys i like some shape so guys go to on add and i like this one curves archimedean check and guys i change this time radius radius change like this and height change and guys see that smart turns increase like a 5 is good So step step is vertex like a forty for more smoothness and radius more change like a thirteen is good right and now guys go to on object mode and apply on top so guys press one and go to on here so and center and guys rotation I will change rotation. Okay, so guys, press one. Actually, zero for camera. And guys, rotation. So guys, select your spline and rotation like a ninety. And Z one minus ninety. See guys, that's my starting points. And guys, also align. So guys, select all shape. This one. That's my shape. And cylinder and plane. And align. Check. Yes. Good. Guys, most important part. Don't forget to align on center, right? See, I will show you, right? And align, check. Yes, good. Okay, so now, guys, this time I create round effect, and also, guys, it's too much bigger, so little bit change scale size, scale size like this, more. Yeah, good. This one is good, and now, guys, select your plane. So guys, I apply this time curve tool, curve this one, and guys object that's my spline and deform axis. I like minus y this one. Yes, see guys that's my rotation and right click and shade smoother this plane. So now next one, guys see that okay. So guys wireframe check. See guys that's my starting. Apply on this one. So guys select your plane and. Starting, so guys, go to on here. Okay, see guys, that's my rotation effect, right? It's good. So guys, little bit more. Okay, so guys, go to on back. Yeah, yes, right. See guys, that's my starting point. Connect to this one. Okay, so now, guys, this time, apply on center. So press one, actually three. So guys, select both shape. Select this banner. This one and shape check. Press three and connect to this one center. And guys, go to on here. 
like this yeah good right it's simple right guys okay so now select your plane and guys i apply this time cloth tech cloth check and guys i change some settings so stiffness i like 10 10 and 10 and dumping i like 2 yeah so guys go to on here shape so also guys catch it guys frame i like 400 i will change frame 400 and guys see that's my catch it 400 frames and shape i like pin and go to on here collision quality i like 5 so guys most important part self collision check so guys play yeah see guys that's my banner rolling animation so guys stop and go to on back so bake all check see guys that's my baking it's take a little bit time okay so guys my baking is finished and guys play yeah really good see guys that's my banner unroll animation so stop and one more time play yes guys that's my first effect first and next one guys i apply this time so guys go to one cube and guys select your this one cube so collision check and now guys select your plane and go to on here and delete bake check delete bake check and go to on here bake all dynamic check okay so guys stop this baking and again play yeah it's good see guys that's my really cool effect so stop and guys again play yeah my collision is really good and that's my banner unroll animation guys so guys my first type of animation is finished and now next one guys i will create boxes animation dynamic box so now guys select your this one cube and use this time shadow catcher check guys select your plane and shadow catcher check yes so guys next one go to one file and i create new collection so guys select your collection guys you can download this box from my website it's free so select and append like this see guys that's my box and scale size change like this so guys i show you my texture see guys that's my box right and now guys this time i apply this time collision effect actually rigid body and guys select your box nike box so go to on here and rigid body check so guys go to on active it's my active and guys go to on shape that's my box so go to on friction is good and now guys select your flow this one and rigid body check and i apply passive and guys my shape is mesh and guys go to on here sensitive and merge i like 0 0.01 0 0.01 and play yeah see guys that's my dynamic effect play yes great okay so guys now next one go to one back guys i apply lots of box so guys select your box and i apply this time array effect and factor 1.5 and number of count increase like a 8 is good so guys go to on here again array and guys i increase this count and factor second one 1.5 yeah and like a 2 is good 2 so guys go to on here yeah good and next one guys i like one more array lastly so guys increase height like a six see guys that's my boxes spacing and guys count i like eight yes good right see guys that's my boxes and now guys apply array apply apply and apply and guys i create individually so go to an edit mode select all press a and press p p and lose part check and go to on object mode so guys i change center axis axis to center origin to geometry check and guys also create rotation effect so guys it's not so much cool realistic so guys go to on here randomize transform check 
and rotation change like this yeah see guys that's my rotation and more yeah really good see guys that's my dynamic effect and guys now press zero so guys i change out of frame so guys go to an up out of frame little bit back yes okay so guys one more time change in sub setting so guys go to on screen and guys rig it body world and catch it so guys starting i like 150 150 starting simulation 150 and like a 400 yes starting from 150 and guys now next one go to one here guys select your plane and here guys delete all baking so again go to one here and bake all dynamic check okay so guys my baking is finished and play yeah that's my first effect first banner and roll animation and second one guys after 150 frame that's my really cool dynamic animation so guys stop and one more time play okay so guys now next one guys also i create texture so guys select your plane go to on shading and i apply new texture so guys press ctrl t here and apply and guys now guys rotate your texture flip like a 180 yes again play and wireframe guys change wireframe change yeah and click on here see guys that's my really cool banner unroll effect and now guys go to one back and play yeah great right and guys after that 150 frame and that's my really cool dynamic so stop and click on here yes great okay so guys that's it my final work is finished it's looking really good that's my final dynamic animation right okay so guys lastly stop and go to on here and frame i like 30 fps so guys output i create render so guys you can take any folder and take any file name yeah and guys also i take only one frame render render here and render image check okay so guys my one frame render is finished and close so go to on compositing and use node check and i apply some node so guys shift a and i like alpha connect to mid one so next one guys i like image so apply same image same select and lastly i like viewer so connect to this one like this yeah so connect on here see guys that's my composition press v yeah good and click on here layout check yes that's it guys okay so guys my work is finished it's looking really good and guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you